there are different issues uh, in genome assemblies uh, some of them they are related with the graphs so let's talk about them first so one is uh, spurs uh, we can have bubbles uh, we can have converging and diverging paths and sometimes we observe some cycles uh, let's take them one by one spurs are short dead end branches divergence of the main path so you start from somewhere and then you are diverged what are the possible causes they might be sequencing errors towards one end of the read and maybe it's because of the low coverage bubbles are formed if we have a divergence of the path and then afterwards there is convergence so that kind of arrangement is called as bubbles again it's related with the sequencing errors which are there in the middle of the read now and there might be polymorphisms in the target so that can be a reason so that bubbles are observed in the assembly converging and diverging paths so inverse uh, definition then for bubbles two paths converge into one and then later on they again split so that may be because of the repeats in the target genome cycles are observed if the paths that uh, converge on themselves so paths they start converging on themselves uh, that may be also arise because of the repeats so how can we control the issues uh, like these uh, we discussed earlier like bubbles per cycles convergences or divergences uh, one thing what we can do is uh, if we can afford uh, we can filter the graph of these uh, erroneous occurrences we can simply discard them or throw them away in addition to that uh, there are some other limitations uh, one of them is loss of information uh, due to splitting into k-mers so when you are using those deep brown graph assemblies uh, what we do here is you take those reads and you break them into k-mers so reads are already short in size and then your k-mers are further shorter so in this way you might lose some information uh, then uh, as far as the repeats are there in the genome uh, they increase uh, the the number of eulerian paths exponentially so more repeats more eulerian paths and for that uh, you might have an assembler that is efficient in finding uh, those most probable paths in a real quick time so for that you might want to increase the memory consumption and the runtime so obviously um, the these are the issues which which pose challenges to your assembly process so here in this slide uh, we see that sometimes using a shorter camer is uh, advantages over using a longer camer so here for instance uh, we see a read and there is a sequencing error uh, where is a, we see a red color n so that has been uh, incorporated which is wrong so if we use a k3 we will have the camers the small camers uh, which are uh, of the length 3 so mostly we can have the camers which are unaffected and if we use the k is equal to 10 so this n will go there obviously but this is a wrong camer so as far as the true assembly is concerned because of this one nucleotide is a part of that camer so it will mess up with our assembly so if our uh, camers are smaller these kind of sequencing errors their effect can be minimized so in this section uh, what we have seen here is that selecting appropriate KMERS is an important steps and repeats they might collapse uh, the assemblies uh, we also see that uh, there are some issues which are uh, relevant to the uh, formation of different um, bubbles or you know cycles uh, in our graphs uh, we might trim them